Hello, good morning. How are you today, everyone? It's English class, and today we will be doing a quick revision about phonics and grammar. As I said to you so far, in the coming weeks we have a unit test, so we need to be ready. So, let's start our revision for today. So, I'd like to start with the linking and helping verbs. Okay, so we're gonna today revise them in the two tenses, in the present time and in the past time. And after we finished, we are gonna revise short and long U, also soft C and G. So, before starting the lesson, let's read the day and date. So, yesterday was Wednesday. So, what day comes after Wednesday? Thursday. Excellent. And yesterday was 27. So, what number comes after 27? 28. Excellent. So, let's read the day and date now. Today is Thursday. The date is May 28, 2020. Excellent reading. Great job, everyone. So, let's read the objectives for today. So, by the end of the lesson, I can identify the linking verbs am, is, are, was, were in sentences and I can write sentences using linking verbs. Very good! Here we go and there are two videos as you can see or let me say two links. So what you are going to do is to click on the links below or you can copy and paste paste them in your browser and watch the videos and the videos are about linking verbs one of them for the linking verbs in the present time and the other one for the linking verbs in the past time okay after watching the videos now let's revise the information we have or let me say something else you can use your background knowledge to remember or recall the things that we have learned before about linking verbs when i say verb what is the first thing that will come to your mind verb what does the word verb mean verb a verb means is when you're doing something. It's like an action, like eat, sleep, draw, write. So we can call these words action words. Do you think that we can call them action words? Yes. Yes, you are right. So, today we will revise type of verbs. It's not the verb that shows action, but the verb that connect the subject to the predicate in the sentence. Okay, let me give you some examples. I'm gonna write here, okay, Muhammad is a good boy so if I ask you to find the verb in this sentence I mean here the verb that shows an action so do you see any verb that shows an action no you are right there is no verb that shows any action in this sentence but there is something else something that or something is called a linking verb or <clears throat> helping verb we can 
add it to the sentence instead of the action verb. Okay, so everyone, I use the linking verb or the helping verb to connect the subject to the rest of the sentence. So as you can see, Muhammad is the noun, okay, and here I describe Muhammad as a good boy. So I used is to connect the uh, subject to the rest of the sentence as I said to you, okay? So what I want you to do now everyone is to go to the link below and watch the video. This video will be about linking verbs because I explained the lesson before. Okay everyone, so please do this. So let's read what's written over here. The verb to be has three forms in the simple present, am, is, and are. The, ber the verb to be has two forms in the simple past, which is was and were. <clears throat> Everyone, to solve this question, what you are going to do is to look at the map over here. So, am will come after I. Is will come after he, she, and it. R will come after we, you, and they. Okay, so remember to look at the map before you start solving these questions. And here, let's say, these sentences are in the simple present tense. Okay, so I'm going to do only two of them, or let me say three of these questions and then I want you to complete it by yourself. So I a student. So you're gonna go over here you will say I so what comes after I am. am. So you're gonna write here am. Let's write am. Let's go to number two. She a girl. Go to the map, <clears throat> as you can see, what comes after she is. So, so, the answer is, is, she is a girl. Okay, number three. It, a toy. Just go to the map so you can see what comes after it. Is. Is, well done. So, it is a toy. So complete the rest of the questions by yourself, okay? Remember to look at the map. Task number two. As you can see everyone, what we are going to do is to complete these past simple sentences. See, here's the map also. So was comes after I, he, he she, it. And where comes after we, you, and they? So to solve these questions properly, you need to go back to the map. map. Okay, so I'm going to do number one, two, and three, and you will complete the rest. So let's start. It very hot yesterday. So we will go back to the map and we will search. Over here is it. So what comes after it? Was. So, we'll write... Was. <clears throat> Excellent. So... It was very hot yesterday. Okay, let's go to number two. I... Having fun at the park. So, we'll go back to the map. And here is I. And what comes after I was. So, we'll write... I was having fun at the park. The birds thirsty. So the birds here are plural. Plural. In this case, we are going to say that birds are more than one. In this case, we can say they. Okay, because they are more than one. So in the in this case, birds are more than one. So
So we will call them they. Okay, and we will write were. Where? The birds were thirsty. So I'm going to leave for you the rest of the questions. Please solve them by yourself. And to check your answers, go back to the previous video that I added in the description below. Okay, and here everyone, I want you to get your grammar booklet and to open page 76. Okay, and for this task and 77 for this task. So we solved this page before together. Okay, I want you to read them carefully. And please, every time you read, try to check the, the word that comes before the linking verb, okay? As you can see over here. And also you can go back to the maps, okay? Here are the maps. These maps are important and also it will help you. And finally, write a sentence of your own using a linking verb. Was, where, and is. Okay, we're going to stop over here, everyone. Take a break and then come back to continue the rest of the revision.